at the Atlanta History Museum, not far from downtown. He's talking to the Southern Center for International Studies. And of course, within the speech came a few protesters. And so I would like to, to ask you to be upfront with the American people. Why did you lie to get us into a war that was not necessary and that has caused these kinds of casualties? Yeah. Why? Well, first of all, I, I haven't lied. I did not lie then. <laughs> Colin Powell didn't lie. He spent weeks and weeks with the Central Intelligence Agency people and prepared a presentation that I know he believed was accurate. And he presented that to the United Nations. The President spent weeks and weeks with the Central Intelligence people. And he went to the American people and made a presentation. I'm not in the intelligence business. They gave the world their honest opinion. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not. I said I knew where suspect sites were, and you we said, were just. You said you knew where they were near Tikrit, uh, near Baghdad, and north, east, south, and west of there. Those are your words. My words. My words were that. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let him stay one second. Just a second. You're getting plenty of play, sir. I just like an honest answer. I'm giving it to you. We're talking about lies and your, your allegation that there was bulletproof evidence of ties between Al Qaeda and Iraq. Was that a lie? Zar or were you misled? Zarqawi was in Baghdad during the pre war period. That is a fact. Zarqawi? He was in the north of Iraq in a place where Saddam Hussein had no rule. He That's was where also, he was. He was also in Baghdad. Yeah, when he needed to go to the hospital. Come on, these people aren't idiots. They yes. know the story. You are... Let, let, me, let me give you an example. It's easy for you to make a charge, um, but why do you think that the men and women in uniform, every day when they came out of Kuwait and went into Iraq, put on chemical weapon protective suits because they liked the, uh, the style. <laughs> they honestly believed that there were chemical weapons. Saddam Hussein had used chemical weapons on his own people previously. He'd used them on his neighbor, the Iranians, and they believed he had those weapons. We believed he had those weapons. That's what we call a non sequitur. It doesn't matter what the troops right. believe. I think, it matters I think, what you believe. I think, Mr. Secretary, the debate is over. We have other questions. Okay. Courtesy to the uh, audience. Uh, I guess over here. Good grief. That's a hard act to follow. You've now. forgotten you your question. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, as a man much younger than you, uh... <laughs> Everybody is. <laughs> I've followed your career and, and your passion for life and your positive outlook and your ability to deal with situations like the one over there are more than impressive. But 